Good afternoon. Uh, I was here today to discuss a recent project that I was involved in to connect Acme, uh, Acme's AV collection with Wikidata and to leverage these connections for a variety of different purposes. I was personally very interested in this because while I knew of a few kind of museums and galleries who had gone down this path, uh, I didn't, I wasn't familiar with any AV archives, so I was, I was keen. Uh, so what is Wikidata? Well, you're kind of looking at it here, and I'm sure many of you are already familiar with it, but I wanted to quickly um, provide a brief intro just in case. So Wikidata is a platform which is run by Wikimedia Foundation, and it was originally meant as a method to synchronize data statements between different language versions of Wikipedia, but it has, it has since uh, developed into a significant resource in its own right. So here is uh, the Wikipedia page for Pigang Rock, which has um, there's a lot of text, but in there there's a lot of kind of data statements. And um, here's the Wikidata page where you can see those data statements expressed as uh, semantic triples. Pigang Hang Rock is an instance of a film. Pigang Hang Rock has director Peter Weir. So these are all kind of data statements about the thing. But I think what is a particularly interesting use for Wikidata is as an agnostic kind of hub of identifiers. Uh, which you can see down here. Here they all are. So just a long, long, long list of identifiers uh, connecting databases, uh, web platforms, streaming services, um, and audiovisual institutions. Uh, and what's really interesting about this is um, this then provides a jumping off point to um, mashing up different collection APIs. Uh, we'll see an example of that a bit later. So uh, matching Acme and Wikidata the logistics. So this was the foundational, the foundational part of the process, uh, and there were lots of different approaches which were tried um, because we were trying to find pre-existing entities. So for instance, um, Acme already had Pinkney Hanging Rock in their collection. Pinkney Hanging Rock is on Wikidata and making the connection where it already existed, but also identifying things that were more obscure, and we'll talk about obscurity in a second, that were more obscure and where we actually needed to create a Wikidata page. And so really invaluable in this process was OpenRefine. And you can see, uh, and particularly it's inbuilt Wikidata reconciliation service. So here I've loaded up about 5,000 Acme records. We have the Acme kind of label. We have an ID, a director, an ID, a date, and a, a place. And here I've just gone through and already started um, federating the, uh, sorry, not federating, reconciling the countries. So France, which was in the ACME database, is the same as France Q142. Uh, and then I would do the same for the directors and the, the artistic works. Um, and yeah, creating where they previously did not exist. We also added some one-click uh, creation tools. So um, here is our XOS uh, administration, which is our museum uh, operating system. And over here on the right, um, we've got these two little buttons plus to create a Wikidata entity uh, for this creator. And also we can search Wikidata to see if one already exists. Um, we also have the equivalent ones for works over on the right hand side. So we can add a new Wikidata entity search again, or else for works, we can also import Wikidata into the blank fields. Um, so yeah, handy tools for our collections team. So um, on the subject of obscurity, I wanted to quickly touch on uh, notability. So Wikidata and Wikipedia both feature uh, the concept of notability. And this is the measure by which they judge if a person or a film or anything is worthy of inclusion on their platform. And this is presumably... Um, to keep entities from really blowing out the number of uh, pages they have from really blowing out, but also a technical consideration um, based on, I suppose, what their servers can hold, right? Uh, and so this was a concept that that kind of came up, right? Because uh, Acme has a has a vast collection, and they hold they hold um, they have Academy Award winning films, they have uh, blockbusters, they have cult classics, but they also have uh, lots of home movies and lots of training videos. And the question then of whether this was these were sort of sufficiently notable to, um, to create uh, pages for, really. Uh, and this situation kind of reminded me of something that I came across when I was working with Sight and Sound, uh, the Sight and Sound 2012 uh, um, film poll uh, and votes from that. And um, I remembered specifically Alexander Horwath's um, entry for uh, this amazing thing, Fox News Outtakes. 
400 New York City Street Scenes and Noises. So this was one of his 10 votes for greatest films of all time. Uh, and the question being, I mean, are these Fox outtakes really, these specific Fox News outtakes, really worthy of their own page? Uh, and my conclusion was that it was by nature of having been voted for in a highly prestigious uh, film poll. And I felt that the same attitude um, was appropriate for home movies. On their own, they probably would not qualify, but belonging to a, uh, a major kind of um, national collecting institution, um, yeah, it was, it was worthwhile to, uh, to add them in. So, uh, so th sorry, that was some notes on the linking process, and I should uh, highlight that that is not actually done yet. We still do have a bit of a way to go, but uh, in parallel, we've been looking at other things that you can do to leverage those links once that they have been uh, once they have been made. So, the most obvious is that you can federate the Acme collection data with the Wikidata statements, and this I thought was interesting because I felt like. There is data here which an audiovisual archive would potentially not necessarily have in their system, but would possibly be interested in using as a different lens by which to view their collection items. Uh, and just to pull out two here that I thought were interesting, we have here the original box office takings of Pink Hang Rock um, on the year of release. Uh, maybe another interesting metric here, the Betchel test, which is a... a um, uh, way of qualifying kind of female agency uh, within a film, uh, you know, and again, these are things that an audiovisual institution would possibly not already have in their database, but could, would absolutely um, could see where they would have interest in being able to pull this in on a needs basis as a different way of uh, as a different way of kind of viewing their own collection. So another interesting byproduct of connecting all this up was the ability to federate uh, holdings information. So. Here, starting with the Wikidata ID, I've jumped across to both the ACME Collection API and the National Film and Sound Archive of Australia's Collection API to pull in the holdings information against this film. And so you get a sense of what holdings exist in each institution. Uh, and as ACME noted, if they can identify where there are better components which already exist elsewhere or a pre preservation activity has already occurred, then that this is an interesting um, an interesting way for them to devote their digitization resources more appropriately. Acme are also super interested in the reuse of media and summaries from Wikipedia and Wikidata, uh, particularly to enrich their online uh, collection search portal page. Uh, so here are two Jupyter Notebooks. Well, we'll see the first one that I did up for them. Um, so here you can put in the Acme, the Acme work ID. Here it is for uh, another uh, early Australian film story, The Kelly Gang. Um, this creates this kind of, it jumps across to Wikidata based on that link. It creates this kind of really concise uh, summary, which is generated out of Wikidata statements. You have this more verbose kind of um, description of the film, which is taken from Wikipedia. And then there are images also pulled from Wikidata. I did the same for creators. So here we have Jackie Weaver. Um, short kind of uh, intro statement, a more, you know, some filmography notes and then an image. And they've actually started using this on their site. So before this was pretty sparse, but now we can see this wonderful photo of um, Abel Ferreira. He looks really thrilled. And, um, and this kind of uh, intro text as well to provide some context. Uh, yeah. So I also wanted to take a second to just acknowledge that both Acme and Wikidata both make their data available under a CC0 license, which allows for essentially uninhibited use and reuse. And this, uh, this allowed me to really kind of work in the open. So it was open code, open data. And um, I think when Acme first released their collection data in 2016, and I managed to hunt down, no, it's this one. Um, I managed to hunt down that very first commit. I thought it was a super bold and inspiring move and I would really urge other institutions to consider doing the same. I thought I'd give you a little run through of the tools we created uh, behind the scenes for Acme as well. So uh, this is our Wikidata dashboard um, showing both the works and creators that are matched in Wikidata um, here and also then uh, how many have been added to uh, Acme IDs to Wikidata itself. So 
um, these two figures should match and these two figures should match too. Um, and you'll see that uh, poles actually matched a huge number in the last little while. So what we need to do is uh, pull those records into a spreadsheet for our collections team to do a little spot check of. And once they're happy, then we'll re-import them back into XOS uh, so that they're exposed on our website. There is kind of this initial kind of mountain that we're trying to get over. And then I'll be really curious as to, um, yeah, how much effort it is to maintain sync from then on. Uh, after that, I think there's going to be a lot of work done around looking at incompatible data statements. So an example I had here was I've done a quick notebook on where birth date does not match. So these are creators where there's a creator in, um, creator has a birth date in Wikidata and in the Acme database and they don't match. Uh, and that could be just because one side got it wrong or it could be because um, we actually merged the wrong person, right? So this kind of thing can highlight where there were mistakes in the matching process. Um, yeah, but I think that's it. I think that's the end of the talk. And uh, I think there are a few minutes for questions if anyone wanted to uh, ask anything. Any questions? Any questions from the chat? Or from the live stream participants. Hey Paul, it's Samaya. Um, I think this is a very badly formed question. I hardly think it's a question at all. Um, so for organizations to get into doing this, you've probably spent some years thinking about pulling this data together. What would, if we wanted to try as an organization doing something small, what would you suggest doing first? And I think there's a, quite a bit of a delay. There's a bit of a delay because Dave is uh, live transcribing um, Well, firstly, can everyone hear me? Like Hello, and um, uh, to answer your question, Samaya, I, I think, um, Jimmy, are you hear me? I think Open Refine is such a fantastic tool, like not to like, uh, and I think maybe, uh, hopefully that came across that it was so invaluable in this project. Um, and I've, I've since been using it a lot for kind of data wrangling, but the fact that it integrates so well with Wikidata, I would say that's absolutely a fantastic place to start. Um, yeah. Any other questions? Then thank you, Paul. Let's give them. Hmm? And Simon, yes, who was not there on the uh, screen, but thank you. Let's give him a Thank you. Bye -bye.